entry level affordable USB microphone for you streamers or those of you looking to spice up your work setup. Today we're looking at the Blue Snowball Ice, which is your classic plug and play USB microphone. Will this mic work for you? Through this Blue Snowball USB mic review, we'll not only be taking a look at the build quality and stats of this microphone, but also completing a sound test and comparing it to the JLab's Talk Go, as well as the regular Blue Snowball. Inside the box for the Blue Snowball Ice, you get three things, the microphone, the stand, and a six foot long type A to micro USB cable that helps you connect this to your computer. The Blue Snowball Ice has a plastic exterior, which is sleek. This is the Blue Snowball Black Ice, hence its black color. It also comes in white. Under that plastic is a mesh material that protects the actual condenser microphone. There are no physical buttons on the outside of the microphone. The only indicator that you get that this thing is on is the red light on top. On the back is the micro USB connection, which hooks up to the cable that's included and then to your computer. On the bottom, we have the screw in for the stand. It's a five ace connector, so pretty standard for a microphone stand. If you're using like a camera stand, you'll have to get an adapter down to three ace since this is the bigger five ace connection. Where the mic connects in, it also tilts back and forth 45 degrees, so there is some adjustability to the mic and the stand. The stand is much more sturdy than the J Labs Talk Go stand that we reviewed in this video. I am a fan of how sturdy it is and do like the design, but it could be a tad taller. Blue does sell a boom arm mount that you can purchase for this, but basically anything on Amazon if you search boom arm mount for blue snowball ice. The whole package is small, compact, and lightweight, easy to travel, weighs in at 460 grams, and the microphone itself is 325 millimeters in circumference. Overall, this durable and functional construction makes me not afraid to travel this microphone. I'd totally be comfortable throwing this in my backpack and going without any type of case. What you really care about is what's inside this microphone. This is a condenser microphone with a digital output to mini USB that connects up to your computer via type A USB, no audio interface required. The pickup pattern is a standard cardioid pattern. It has a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bit, and this has a pickup range of 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz, unlike the other blue microphones, which have a larger pickup range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Hertz. Those are all the fancy dancy numbers. Does this sound good? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It is the Blue Snowball Ice sound, uh, Blue Snowball Ice microphone sound test. Starting now. All the audio that you're hearing now is directly from the Blue Snowball Ice unedited raw sound. To get this thing fired up, I simply connected the USB cable to the back of the microphone, to my computer, and then in Audacity, selected the Blue Snowball Ice. Setup is simple as that. It is really just plug and play or in this case speak. For testing this microphone, I have it in the optimal position for recording, at least from the research that I did on this product. They said that it is best to have it tipped all the way back on the stand and be talking six to eight inches above the microphone. And what this does is prevent it from having any unnecessary pops from being aligned directly in front of the microphone. If you are gonna use it that way, they do recommend purchasing a pop filter. The other quirk that I found while researching this product is that the cardioid pickup around the microphone is a little bigger than you would expect for a cardioid pattern microphone. To help you get a sense of the pickup pattern, I'm going to continue talking at the same volume and rotate my body around the microphone while keeping it aimed at the microphone, which is quite difficult when I get to this point. Let's go around the other side because we do not want to only go to the right. We will go to the left and test out how far we can go on this side. And hopefully it'll sound similar to how it sounded when I was on the right side of the microphone. Since I'm not going to tuck my head over the microphone for testing, we'll do some snapping. Again, the blue snowball ice only has one pickup pattern, the cardioid pattern. There is no button to adjust it to a polar pattern or any configuration that you can do on the computer. It is just how it is. 
Let's do some real functional testing by seeing how well this microphone does at ASMR. We should redo the meat sticks video. Obviously raw audio can only sound so good, so at this point we'll let Jack do some magic and what you're hearing now is edited audio, which is by no means uncommon and definitely something that I would recommend doing if you're using the Blue Snowball Ice for making YouTube videos or any type of content. Take the time to edit the audio, it makes a difference. At this point in the video, you probably have a good idea of whether you'd like to purchase this microphone or not. But before you do that, I highly recommend you go check out our video on the JLab TalkGo microphone, which is a similar price to the Blue Snowball Ice. At a similar price point, you get a Type-C USB connection, the ability to mute and unmute with a push of a button. You can also switch patterns from cardioid to omni. And lastly, the most important, live monitoring, plug in your headphones to the microphone, put your headphones on, you can hear what's coming out of your mouth into the microphone into your ears before you go and check out that video you'll want to hear the differences between the blue snowball ice and the standard blue snowball they are only twenty dollars difference in cost as of now so it is definitely something you want to consider whether you want to make the extra twenty dollar investment or stick with the cheapy but still a goodie at least to most people online Blue Snowball Ice. The main differences are the pricing, about $20 in difference, as well as the polar pattern. The Blue Snowball Ice only includes the cardioid pattern, while the Blue Snowball allows you to change to an omnidirectional pickup pattern. The application for both of these microphones is pretty similar, but if you have the ability to do an omnidirectional pickup pattern, that would make it better for podcasting with friends. You simply set the microphone in the center and people can sit and talk around it versus having to have everyone on one side. Besides patterns, another main difference comes in the frequency response. The Snowball actually has a bit more versatility to bring to the table here. In addition to sharing a frequency response of 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz the snowball has three positions to help you customize the recording experience to whatever you are doing now for most people especially me i wouldn't really care about that so i'd still go with the blue snowball ice but if you want that extra configurability go with the standard blue snowball the last and possibly the most important difference between the blue snowball and blue snowball ice is the ability of colors that you can purchase these in. For the Blue Snowball Ice, you can only get them in black and white, and the Blue Snowball has a variety of colors, so if you need a certain color to match your decor, you'll probably have to go with the Blue Snowball. This wraps up our Blue Snowball Ice USB microphone review. If you found the video helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to go down and click that like button. If you want to support the channel and really help us out, yes, less than 1% of you are subscribed. It would mean a lot if you could go and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. If you have a suggestion for a product that you'd like us to review, comment that down below. We'll have the product linked in the description if you'd like to purchase. It does help support the channel. That's all I have for today, folks. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.